Hey guys, today I'm partnering with Kent Building Supplies and Matree, and I'm going to show you how to hang a pre-hung door. Matree has a large variety of doors that you can choose from, and it might be a little bit overwhelming if you don't know what style of door you already like. So my best advice for that is to check out their online gallery and it will really help you decide. I chose the five panel Riverside door and it's by far my favorite door. It's been trending for a long time and I was really excited to get these hung up. Once you have chosen your door, you need to determine the swing and size. To determine the size, you just measure the rough size opening. Mine is 32 inches, so you always leave room for the trim and shims and go down one size. So instead of a 32 inch door, I'm gonna pick up a 30. The way you choose your swing is by standing on the outside of the room and step into the room looking left and right. There's no right or wrong way to swing, but you should take into consideration if the door is left open, is it in the way, will it back onto a dresser or tuck nicely into a space that makes sense. To install the door, you need a pack of shims, adhesive, a level, a nail gun, or finish nails and a hammer. Place your door inside the rough stud opening and try to center it. You might need an extra set of hands for this until it's nailed a few times or just be careful. Use your level to make sure your door jam is plumb. Plumb just means that it's standing completely up straight and not on any angle. Use your shims to tuck in behind the jam and nail it in. Once the one side is leveled, you can move on to the other side and keep the door shut while you're doing this. This small little black latch here is what's holding the door together with the jam, and that's what ensures your door stays square and will open properly once it's in. When your door is up, you can tuck some shims and PL Premium on the top piece of the trim and then tack it in as well. PL Premium is not necessary and not everybody uses it, but I like to use it so that way you can ensure a little bit stronger of a fit. I typically leave my door overnight so that the PL Premium can dry, but once your door is up and plumb and secure, the next day I trim it out. I'm just using a flat stock MDF trim and I'm measuring from the floor to the top corner on both sides. This trim style is called picture framing and it's my absolute favorite. It's clean and sleek. There are so many different ways that you can trim out a door. You can do straight cuts and a straight header. You can also do a Boston header and get really fancy. Any style that you're doing really depends on the desired look. I feel like I've said that so many times that there's no right or wrong way to trim out a door. These techniques also all look very differently depending on the style of trim you use. You can use flat stock, beveled, or a combination. Matree has a ton of trims that they offer. So even if you choose to do picture framing, but you have chosen a beveled trim, it's going to look much more different than the flat stock I'm using. My best advice for choosing your trim is to just do your research and check out their galleries and see all of the ways that you're able to do it. So again, you measure from the floor to the top corner of your trim. If you are doing a picture frame style, you then cut it on a 45 degree angle and use your level, pin it to the door jam and as well as pinning it to the wall. Then use wood fill for any of your pin nail holes Then caulking where the trim meets the wall as well as any smaller little holes that you see. You can put caulking in that as well. You won't know it's there as soon as you paint it up. I then picked up these matte black handles at Kent to continue the goal for the modern bolt doors and they're super easy to install because when you pick up pre-hung doors, they also come with pre-drilled holes so you don't have to do any of that. You just follow the directions in your doorknob box and they go on pretty easily. If you're comfortable with a screwdriver, you can get these door handles swapped out. When you get pre-hung doors, they're primed and you're gonna need to paint them anyway, so why not paint them a funky color? Traditional white is clean. I love it. It's probably the first and number one go-to for doors, but I have decided to use the Seiko Muse Cool Gray and I am so happy I did. I also painted the trim, which I was very weary of in the beginning. You don't really do that. You keep the trim white, but it's 2020. So we painted the trim and I am here for it. And that my friends is how you hang a pre-hung door. That's how I hang them anyway. I hope I could help you out with your projects and thanks for watching. Happy DIYing.